Hello class and welcome to Physical Science 12. Let's take a quick look at the stuff that you should pay attention to in this class. All right, so main things is we have homework and we have quizzes and we have discussions, which are extra credit, can earn you about 4% if you do all of them. Uh, you know, on a top of your 100%, right? Um, we of course have tests, we got two of those, we got a final comprehensive exam. All of this is laid out in the document right here, which is the syllabus. So the syllabus is gonna describe everything that's in the class. We've got the labs, which I forgot to mention. We've got the exams, which I already did mention. And we've got a breakdown of where all the points are coming from. So why does that matter? Well, because it's a lot of things to keep track of and it moves pretty fast because it's a six week course. You're gonna find everything in the modules and they're broken down by weeks, which I think is pretty intuitive. And so if you look here, we've got week one, which is classical mechanics, which is kind of jargon uh, speak for physics that happened before the 19th century. So, you know, think like Newton, you know, old time physics. And so we, indeed we have Newton's laws, we got um, definitions of motion, momentum and energy, gravity, projectiles and satellites. Yeah, satellites didn't come earlier, but the physics to describe them were, you know, got described way back in the 1700s. Um, and then there's a couple that I haven't published yet. Let's see, uh, um, actually just one here, which is chapter five. It's just because it has it, none of those assignments are open yet. So I you know, didn't go ahead and publish it, but I'll be doing that shortly, probably by the end of today, which is June 10th, Monday, the very beginning of the semester. And so anyway, so you're gonna see modules like this. They're all gonna get published, all these separate um, parts of them. What are the separate parts? The same things that I mentioned that are in the syllabus. The homework, okay? There's a, when you click on this, it's gonna take you um, to a link, which will take you to the paid portal, which I mentioned a few days ago before the semester started. So if you haven't paid for or got your free trial, for the access to our homework portal, you need to do that now. Um, it doesn't have to be today, but it sure should be, or tomorrow or something, because the first assignment is due on Wednesday. There's actually an extra credit assignment, which is the physics primer. I forget exactly how many points it's worth. We could probably navigate over there and take a look. And But that's the only extra credit assignment that there is over here in the homework portal. Otherwise, these are all required assignments other than the couple that are you know, free or you, that get dropped. Um, and what I mean by that is that there's in the different categories of you know graded assignments in the class There's some that you can get away with not doing maybe just because you missed it or like maybe it's just your lowest score And so it will get automatically dropped. That's all outlined in the syllabus. There's a certain number of them in each category All right, N you know namely labs, right? I, I know I only dropped one lab and then we've got you know homework a certain number are dropped and because there's quite a few right 28 of them in um, in six weeks um, for the most part, they are pretty short. Um, just you know, find five problems each. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's a few more. I think it goes up to like eight. Which I, you know, I, I stick to that five to eight. And anyway, so um, and they're all with five points because sometimes uh, problems are worth half a point. Um, but there's so far you've got homework one. You can see here that um, on, for minus is available to students, so that's one that you can go ahead and get done. Um, and then you know you've got homework two, homework three, and so on. Um, the uh, the uh, extra credit one I already mentioned, the introductory primer, which I call the physics primer. It's got some math in there as well. Um, and kind of do do as much of that as you want. It, you know it's all extra credit. Um, and then quizzes. Quizzes are timed. Homeworks aren't. Um, homeworks you can get uh, multiple attempts. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head how many I program in there, um, but you can, you can go ahead and take a look um, if it doesn't show up right here. If we see, so we've got three assignment attempts available for the best score. So you uh, just, you know, you, have, you can do it up to three times and it'll only save the best of those three attempts, presumably the last. And uh, yeah, it's got an estimated time. Um, it's ten, you know, it tends to take more than that. My, my students always tell me, but anyway, this is apparently is the average, but that's just of course because some people are rushing through it or maybe they just don't finish it. So this is just, you know, digital average. Um, and then uh, indeed there's the five items worth five points. And here you can see, think and ranks, think and solves. If it's a think and solve, that's gonna be, um, you know, quantitative. It's gonna require calculations, require formulas that are um, outlined in the book and also outlined in videos. So a good place to look for the think and solves in particular uh, in terms of uh, help on, on working through those are going to be on these pages because I've mentioned so far the assignments, you know, homework, and then I also mentioned um, quizzes because I pointed out that there's a timed quiz coming up. This link would just go take you right back to the my, my math, you know, or my lab and mastering. That's what it is. Pearson's my lab and mastering. Um, you know, so this is because 
I, I tend to just like go over there um, you know, to the whole, the whole portal. Um, I've definitely found that most people don't. But anyway, I was talking about these pages. The pages aren't assignments, and it is the way that Canvas categorizes things. And what the pages are is they're a collection of lecture slides, a video that I recorded a couple of years back that has um, me, uh, me discussing the lecture slides, going through, giving my insight on them, and you know, talking about examples. I'm writing on it with a tablet in many cases, and then some additional videos from the kind of the publishing company, really more like the author and the company that that is behind him, which is separate from Pearson but of course you know within it and um, and that is all these really helpful videos as I said are going to be really your best direct help for the quantitative problems for those math based problems um, so you're going to find those here. You're going to find more of the math math based problems in this early part of the summer, the first couple of weeks. Once we move on to chemistry and earth science, there's a lot less of them. We see a few more with astronomy at the very end, but the vast majority of the math heavy, right? But this is not heavy math. This is just, you know, basic arithmetic and algebra, but it can still be a little, you know, a little bit to work with in a class that doesn't have a math prerequisite. I hear that a lot. So the deal is you're going to see the most of that in the first two weeks. All right. And that's just the nature of the beast because that's, that's the topic is we have to cover the background material first, fundamental um, science. The most fundamental physical science there is, is going to be physics, right? Near and dear to my heart. I teach physics quite a bit. All right, so there you go. Those are the pages. There's a page for every chapter. It's gonna have that same layout in terms of lecture slides, my video, and then additional short videos um, to help with quantitative problems. All right, uh, anything else? Labs, yes, labs. Okay, so, so far there's one lab published. Soon there'll be a second lab published. And you can find the due dates for any of these labs once they're published in your to-do list on Canvas. But you can even look ahead and find them over here on this nice color-coded calendar. Why is it color-coded? Because it's color-coded to match up with exams. So in other words, the first 11 chapters are covered by the first exam, which is going to take place on... Take a look over here, June 26th. That's our first one. And then we have a second exam coming up, um, or a test really, uh, coming up on the 11th of, uh, of July. And then finally we have our final, which uh, it opens up on Friday and then finally closes um, on Sunday. You know, so that's, that's within the summer term, but after, you know, I, our, our class like ends by Friday, but you got a couple extra days and, and it's, that's, it's all set up so you can still turn it in on Canvas. All of the tests, so that you know the two tests, which aren't the final, and then the final comprehensive exam, those are all hosted within Canvas. You can look at the details of them in the, um, the syllabus document, and I'll be reminding you about them when we get close, closer to that first date, which of course is June 26th. All right, and so. You know, so that's that's going to be you know I, the material, and and I mentioned those due dates because you can find other due dates such as Lab One right over here, right? You can see that it's um, due on the thirteenth. Um, so a little discrepancy here. Um, I'll have to fix that. Um, but this is this is the date I believe that I had it due. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to change this in the syllabus document to be um, the fourteenth, and the fourteenth is is that Thursday or Friday? I was uh, shifting stuff over. So I'll have to take a look at that. I don't remember off the top of my head. If we look here though, we can see that actually it is, it is Friday. So this, it's just a typo here in terms of uh, you know, carrying over some dates from, uh, from the previous summer. Because they're pretty similar, but they get shifted of course. Um, so um, then we have lab two coming up on the 17th. Not all labs are spaced the same apart. So you can kind of, you can look ahead and be like, oh, hey, you know, I got like, you know, five days of at a lab. You know, I think that's probably the longest break. And, you know, that, and there's also sometimes where we have breaks in terms of assignments. The breaks in terms of assignments correspond to the exams. So there's going to be like a day where there's no quiz or homework due. That's going to be right around the time that we're taking one of those two tests, okay, or the final exam. Um, because, well, I don't have anything due on the same Friday that's the last day of the term. Um, all right, so yeah, that's uh, that's basically the rundown. The lab is all the labs are self-contained. They have um, a number of links and items and um, directional videos that help you, you know, work through everything. And hopefully, it will all make sense. Sometimes you need some particular software, but it's always free, you know, uh, easy to understand software. And in other cases, it's just an online simulation. And there's always going to be a handout that you complete. You can all you can type most of it, but there's sometimes a requirement of some figures which you can put in if you're.
you're savvy with, you know, kind of dealing with documents. Um, alternatively, you can just print it and do everything by hand. There's, there's really, uh, other than sometimes where you have to actually include a photograph, um, which I think yeah, I have a couple times in this class, um, then you can actually do everything by hand or on a tablet and then just, you know, scan it and put it right back up online. When you do actually submit the assignment, it's gotta be a PDF. That's just um, to keep everything easy on my end. And it can't be individual files. It's gotta be one file. So no like one file per page. I will send it back to you. I just can't, I can't I deal with that, right? I mean, it's, if, if everyone submitted, you know, nine, nine separate things, which have to load one at a time, it doesn't work. So you do have to submit it as a single PDF. Um, so if, if it is for some reason, you know, not doing that, you have to, you know, compile it together, do, do something and, you know, do a Google search, figure out how to do that. Um, there are plenty of good explanations out there. And yes, if you're stuck, you can ask me, but I will probably give you the same sort of advice to, you know, to look it up because it, there's plenty of good ways to do it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the rundown of the class. Um, all the due dates found here, typo to fix there. You know, as I said, labs and um, homework and everything else. Um, you can look at assignments as well to see kind of the breakdown of the class. Um, this is gonna be relevant once you start kind of calculating what your final grade's gonna be. And I'm gonna um, put in some placeholders here for the, um, for the exams so that they, you know, the points are already in there. Everything is already broke, broken down in terms of the percentages, although we don't need them by the end because it is a strictly point class. There's a thousand points out there. Um, but then, you know, until those thousand points are there, I have it as weighted averages to keep, so you can have a good estimate as, as we're going along. Um, yeah, so that's, that is um, your quick summary. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post a comment to, um, to this announcement or to send me a message in Canvas, which is my preferred means of communication as opposed to email. Obviously, I'm going to Canvas a lot more after I deal with a few administrative things on email, such as adding you know, students, you know, late ads and that sort of thing. Um, so you know, that's, that's where I'm gonna be checking more often. It works better for me. So please message me in Canvas and don't send me an email. All right, well, welcome again to the class and I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.